This is the very real corner of Washington, D.C. that inspired one of the scariest movies ever made, The Exorcist. Who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, Damien! <sighs> The 1973 film changed everything about what we consider horrifying, with the story of a little girl possessed by a demon and saved by a Catholic priest performing a sacred rite. It's good against evil and it's a demon being driven out and it's horrible things that are happening to this girl and terrifying effects and you totally just buy into this good against evil and you know, the light against the dark. Matt Lolich hosts the Scary Movie Project podcast. Everything was new, right? All that stuff was new. No one had seen a real horror like that before, right? He so takes Exorcist fans on tours of the film's famous locations, like the epic steps <laughs> from the film's final scene. After 50 years, this place is still incredible. I mean, even if you haven't seen this film, you know what these stairs are, you know what this place is. At the top of those long stairs, there's the actual house that was modified for the film. What they did was they built a facade, a taller roof on top, and they also built a fake front facade to come out this way. The exorcist is still drawing sellout houses. For but what people may not realize is that 50 years ago, the exorcist inspired real fear. I fainted like 10 minutes after the first beginning of the movie. News reports were filled with distraught filmgoers. My legs are just going Who fainted in the aisles and became ill during the movie. Do you remember what scene it was that affected you so much? Convulsions, when she took convulsions. Because I have a little girl. Toronto's University Theatre kept police on standby to make sure no minors saw the film. Exorcist hysteria gripped the Catholic Church and the public. And it's so powerful and it becomes a real message because it's just this awful evil being done to this poor little girl. So much of the fright factor came from a plot that almost seemed plausible. Based on this 1949 Washington Post story about a boy reported held in the devil's grip, that story was the basis for the book and the screenplay written by William Peter Blatty, a student at Georgetown University, a Jesuit school where much of the film is set. Blatty wrote this because of this setting, right? He knew what he was writing he, and he knew he wanted it here. The Exorcist went on to make history as the first horror movie nominated for the Best Picture Academy Award. Hey, where'd this come from? Adjusted for inflation, it was the highest grossing Warner Brothers film until the release of Barbie. There were multiple sequels and imitators. The original is still the fan favorite. Do you think it holds up 50 years later? I think it absolutely holds up. We're standing here right now talking about it, aren't we? Sure enough, fans kept showing up to snap pictures of those famous stairs. A film that scared, or perhaps scarred, a generation of moviegoers still turns heads half a century later. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.